Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this pink triangle inscribed inside this rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this diagram. And moreover, the area of this pink triangle is 210 square units. And the length A, B is 37 units. And this E, C is 23 units. And moreover, this uh, FD is uh, 7 units and now we are going to calculate this uh, width uh, BC and we are going to represent this width uh, by X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We know that this uh, rectangle A, B, C, D is indeed a rectangle. So that means these opposite uh, sides going to be equal in length. And moreover, this side is equal to this side. And these all angles are 90 degrees each. And now since we are dealing with the rectangle, if this side is x, this side is going to be x as well. So therefore, this side, this length AF is going to be x minus 7. And moreover, we know that this length AB is 37 units. So therefore, this length is going to be 37 units as well. So therefore, this length DE is going to be 37 minus 23 means that is going to be 14. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. In our case, uh, our length is 37 and our width is uh, x. So therefore, the area is going to be equal to 37 times uh, x. Let me go ahead and call this as equation number 1. And now let's focus on this triangle uh, DEF. Now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle DEF. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case, uh, the base is 14 and the height is 7. So let me go ahead and represent this area of this triangle as A sub 1 equals to a half time base is 14 times 7. And if we simplify the right hand side area, a sub 1 turns out to be 49. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And now let's focus on this next triangle BCE. And now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle. We know the area of triangle formula. Our base is 23 and our height is x. So therefore, this time I'm going to call this area as a sub 2 equal to a half time base is 23 times height is x. So therefore our a sub 2 turns out to be the area 23x divided by 2. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 3. And now let's focus on this next triangle ABF. Now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle. We know our base is 37 and our height is x minus 7. So therefore the area of this triangle is going to be, let me go ahead and call this area of a sub 3 equals to a half time base is 37 times height is x minus 7. 
let's go ahead and distribute this thing so this is going to give us 37 x divided by 2 minus 259 divided by 2 let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 4 and here's our final step we know that the area of this uh, pink triangle BEF equals to the area of this whole rectangle ABCD minus the area A sub 1 and this area A sub 2 and this area A sub 3 as you can see in this equation in our case the area of this pink triangle is 210 so let me go ahead and write down 210 equals to the area of rectangle ABCD in our equation 1 is 37 X minus let's go ahead and see a sub 1 in our case is 49 let me go ahead and write down 49 plus a sub 2 in our case is 23 X divided by 2 over here and then finally plus uh, a sub 3 is uh, this one so let me go ahead and write down plus uh, 37 x divided by 2 minus 259 divided by 2 now we are going to solve this equation for x and now let me go ahead and rewrite this equation I can write this thing 210 equal to 37 X minus I'm going to combine these two like terms over here I'm going to write down 49 minus 259 divided by 2 and I'm going to combine these terms as well plus 23x divided by 2 plus 37x divided by 2 as well and in this next step I wrote down this 259 divided by 2 in terms of decimal as 129.5 and moreover I wrote down this these two fractions I just put a 2 as a common denominator and in this next step I have uh, subtracted these two numbers turns out to be a negative 80.5 and I simplified this one and this turns out to be a 30x now let me go ahead and open up this parentheses so this could be written as 210 equal to 37 x since we have a negative sign outside we're going to distribute so that's going to give us positive 80 point 5 minus 30 X so let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 210 equal to 37 X minus 30 X is going to give us 7 X plus 80 point 5 now let's go ahead and subtract 80 point 5 from both sides. this is gone on the left hand side we got 129 point 5 equal to 7 X let's divide both side by 7 so therefore our X value turns out to be 18.5 units so therefore our width turns out to be 18.5 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye